Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will determine geometric series. We will find the sum of the terms of a given finite geometric sequence. To find the sum, we will be using the formula S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R or S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity R raised to n minus 1 all over R minus 1, where R is not equal to 1. In the formula, S sub n is the sum of the first n terms, A sub 1 is the first term, R is the common ratio, n is the number of terms. Example number 1, let us find the sum of the first 9 terms of geometric sequence if the first term is 3 and the common ratio is 2, let us determine all the given values. A sub 1 is equal to 3, R is equal to 2, N is equal to 9. Let us substitute all these values to our formula. S sub N becomes S sub 9 equals A sub 1 is equal to 3 times the quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 9 all over 1 minus 2. Let us simplify, S sub 9 is equal to 3 times the quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 9 is equal to 512. All over, 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. We have S sub 9 is equal to 3 times 1 minus 512 is equal to negative 511. All over, negative 1. S sub 9 is equal to 3 times negative 511 is equal to negative 1,533. Divided by negative 1, S sub 9 is equal to positive 1,533. And this is the sum of the first 9 terms of geometric sequence whose first term is 3 and whose common ratio is equal to 2. Example number 2. Let us find the sum of the first six terms of geometric sequence 20, 10, 5, and so on. In this example, the first term is equal to 20, n is equal to 6, and if we divide any term by its preceding term, the common ratio is equal to 1 half. Let us substitute all the given values to the formula. S sub n becomes S sub 6 equals A sub 1 is equal to 20 times the quantity 1 minus r is equal to 1 half, raised to n is equal to 6, all over 1 minus 1 half. Let us simplify. We have s sub 6 is equal to 20 times quantity 1 minus 1 half raised to 6 is equal to 1 over 64, all over 1 minus 1 half is equal to 1 half. s sub 6 is equal to 20, times 1 minus 1 over 64 is also equal to 64 over 64 minus 1 over 64. And this is 63 over 64. All over 1 half. We can simplify this by dividing 20 and 1 half. 20 divided by 1 half is equal to 40. So we have S sub 6 is equal to 40 times 63 over 64. 40 times 63 over 64 is equivalent to 40 over 1 times 63 over 64. 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. 64 divided by 8 is equal to 8. And we have S sub 6 is equal to 5 times 63 is 315. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. And the sum of the first six terms is 315 over 8. Example number 3. Let us find the sum of the terms of geometric sequence 2, 6, 18 up to 1,458. Let us determine all the given values. A sub 1 is equal to 2. R is equal to 3. N is unknown since the number of terms is not indicated. And the last term is 1,458. Our first step in solving this problem is to solve for the value of n. We will be using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 
in solving for n. Let us substitute all the given values. a sub n is 1458 equals a sub 1 is 2, r is 3 raised to n minus 1. We need to isolate 3 raised to n minus 1 by dividing both sides by 2. 1458 divided by 2 is equal to 729 equals 2 times 3 raised to n minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 3 raised to n minus 1. This is an exponential equation and to solve for n, the basis must be equal to both sides of the equation. We can write 729 as 3 raised to 6 equals 3 raised to n minus 1. Since we have the same base, let us solve for n. We have 6 is equal to n minus 1. To solve for n, let us add 1 to both sides of the equation. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. n minus 1 plus 1 is equal to n. The value of n is equal to 7. Another way to find the value of n is to write all the terms up to 1458 and to count the number of terms. We have 2, 6, 18. Let us multiply the common ratio. 18 times 3 is 54. 54 times 3 is 162. 162 times 3 is 486. 486 times 3 is equal to 1458. There are 7 terms in this geometric sequence, therefore, the value of n is equal to 7. We can find the sum of all the terms of this geometric sequence without using the formula. But, let us show the solution using the formula. Let us substitute all the given values to our formula. S sub n becomes S sub 7. A sub 1 is equal to 2 times the quantity 1 minus 3 raised to 7, all over 1 minus 3. Let us simplify. S sub 7 is equal to 2, times the quantity 1 minus 3 raised to 7 is equal to 2,187, divided by 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. We have S sub 7 equals 2, times 1 minus 2,187 is equal to negative 2,186 all over negative 2. Positive 2 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 1. So we have S sub 7 equals negative 1 times negative 2,186. And S sub 7 is equal to positive 2,186. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.